In this video, we will be discussing the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution of speed. But before we do that, here's a video showing the movement of molecules. At any given temperature, the gas molecules move continuously. When the temperature is increased, their movement increases. Now, the molecules moved at different speeds. Okay, speed being u. They move at different speeds. Okay? And so, it will be hard for us to describe the movement of each of these gas molecules without a single representative. And so, what we want is to get a value of speed which represents the average movement of that gas sample or any sample of gas and so but how do we do that how do we conveniently describe the speed of gas molecules now that problem has been uh, there since the 1800s and according to two scientists Maxwell and Boltzmann according to them the fraction of gas molecules here this is the this represents the fraction of gas molecules this fraction is given by this the product of this function and delta u now this function is what we call the maxwell boltzmann distribution function this guy here is the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution function. And delta U represents a point in a graph. Suppose you have a graph here, the function will look like this. Okay. And this delta u, since this is speed, or u, this delta u represents any point here. Okay. Okay. Now this function here has this form. F of u equivalent to 4 pi multiplied by m over 2 pi kvt raised to 3 halves multiplied by u square and multiplied by e to the negative m u square divided by 2 kvt this long function here is what we call the maxwell boltzmann distribution function this function was derived using rigorous math. It's a bit tough, but if you're interested, you can look at other references like the internet. They have some informations there. There's a lot of information available or some books in thermal physics. All right. But the essential parts of this function is very important for you to understand. We have u here, which represents the speed. We have m which represents the mass of the gas molecule, Kb, the Boltzmann's constant, T, the temperature, and the rest are constants. Okay. Now, if you look at how this function looks like, this is how it's going to look like. Okay. It has a certain peak right here, and it doesn't have symmetry in it. What I mean is that if we cut this equally in half, the left side of the curve has smaller area than the right side. Okay, it doesn't have that perfect bell-shaped curve uh, for some kind of function. It's not symmetrical. And we will discuss why it's not symmetrical. But the important thing to look at here is that, suppose we're looking at this curve. Okay, now this curve represents the speed at which different fraction of molecules possess okay. and in the one 
at the top here is what we call the most probable speed and the second one is what we call the average speed and the third one is what we call the root mean square speed now if you if i write it down this one here is the most probable speed the one in the middle is what we call the average speed and the one at the third part this is the one and one at the third part is what we call the root mean square speed okay now these three speeds are vital representation of the overall speed at which the gas molecules are moving okay and if you notice at higher temperature the curve shifts to the right it shifts at higher speed okay we mentioned earlier that at higher temperature gas molecules moved faster okay? and that the curve begins to become broader okay so at a specific number of molecules okay, almost equal number of molecules equal proportion of molecules have different speeds so more, more and more molecules are having higher speeds okay. all right now let's look at the equation for each of these speed okay for the most probable speed UMP okay to get this take the derivative of the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution function and set it equal to zero what I mean is that the derivative of the Boltzmann function with respect to u equated to zero okay so if you write down df so suppose you have d of 4 pi times m divided by 2 pi kbt raised to 3 halves u squared e to the negative mu square over 2 kbt okay. and uh, derive that with respect to u that will be equal to 0 okay and uh, the derivative of this if I want to for example try to derive it I will get okay. mm. 4 pi m divided by 2 pi kb t raised to 3 halves. Okay, by the way, this bulk here are all constant, so it's easier for us to just um, take it out from the bracket. And uh, this 2 here contains the variable, and so we can derive them. Uh, using the basic rules of differential calculus and so from here we have negative mu over kbt e to the negative mu square over 2 kbt v or u square plus e to the negative mu square over to kbt multiplied by 2u equal to 0 All right now the next step is to multiply okay both sides of the equation okay let's move it here by 1 over 4 pi times m divided by 2 pi kbt raised to 3 halves times e to the negative mu square okay, over 2 kbt okay so it, we rewrite this whole equation over here so that will be 4 pi I will go fast here 
because I was just rewriting this whole equation. 3 halves Okay, now from here we have this common factor so we can take it out and write it as mu square divided by 2 kb t that's out from that and here negative mu cube this one multiplied by this over kb t plus 2u equals to 0 all right now this factor over here and factor over here cancels out okay. they cancels out and what are we left with we're left with this in this equation we have negative m u cube divided by k b t plus 2u equal to 0 or 2u equal to m u cube divided by k b t u cancels out here we'll be left with u square and ultimately our u okay let's use a blue let's go back to blue this gives us u equal to the square root of 2 kbt over m okay now this is now represent this now represents the most probable speed okay that's the most probable speed now let's go to the second one the average speed okay. and for that one 